Good morning, winners! I'm back in the vibrant Hillcrest neighborhood. I'm about to do yoga right there. And after that, of course, I'm gonna continue with my riding, maybe run some errands. I need to buy some grocery stuff. I better run. Don't wanna be late. Gotta chill out Saturday. Anyone wanna share a banana with me? actually about to do some writing right now but before I do I want to share a sentiment I have a confession every time there's an occasion for family that's about to come I feel a bit awkward and sentimental just because number one my family is not here in the US and number two I don't have children I'm 38 years old with no kids and most occasions like Christmas Easter and all these holidays are targeted for people with families. I'm fine with the path I chose, but sometimes I feel as though the society makes childless people at my age or even older feel like we're kind of out of place. I was talking to my other friend in the Philippines the other day about this because we were expressing how people just take single people for granted because, you know, at, at a certain age, like, approximately 35 and above everyone starts having you know children and people like me who are child free and still enjoying life and just focusing on myself the crowd gets thinner because wala ka nang makasama my friends normally just don't see me as often because you know they they have to take care of their children they have their mother duties their wife duties and i do get it i do get that motherhood is not a walk in the park and there's a lot of responsibility involved but what about us? Give us more importance as well because we do have our own problems. We do feel lonely too. You know, we have problems finding ourselves in this big world full of like opportunities and we get lost and sometimes we just want to have good company. Not necessarily romantic but you know, friendship. And you know, everyone just becomes a mother or a father. There's this gap. I think in your 20s, it's so easy to find you know people like you uh, child free and carefree and then retirement but in in that stage in between like in my case it just feels so isolating sometimes we don't have someone you know that we take care of so we have to naturally take care of ourselves so of course I'm gonna be talking about my yoga my travels my plans and I don't think that's being selfish it's just me telling you what's you know what what people without children do and that's that's just how it is right because sometimes there is judgment I feel it like you know when you're focusing too much on yourself people think oh you know all she th thinks about is herself all she focuses on it is herself which is a good thing because what am I supposed to do not take care of myself I'm the only one I have right it's just the right of people with no kids to invest on themselves I don't want to sound very defensive here, but I'm just explaining. I'm just explaining from a point of view of a 38-year-old woman with no kids and enjoying life to the fullest. Now let's get back to writing, shall we? Okay, let's do this. There you go. I'm looking for some Easter goodies for tomorrow. This one looks good. Cupcakes. And a good price, $6.99. Not bad. And olive oil for my cooking. I'm going home to the place where I belong When your love has always been enough for me Woo! I'm running from you know, think you got me all wrong I Don't regret this life you chose for me When these places and these faces again 